Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the start button in the Bosch dishwasher. It's going to be a very easy repair. Should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a torque 20 screwdriver, a big flat blade screwdriver, and a small flat blade screwdriver. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new start button. The start button is located on the right side of the control panel. By depressing this button, the dishwasher cycles could be paused or restarted. The main reason why the start button would need to be replaced is if it breaks, making it difficult to operate the dishwasher. To get at the part, we need to open the door. So we're going to take out uh, six screws on the top, and that's uh, torque 20. I'm using a torque 20 screwdriver. Uh, those six screws are a little longer than the three screws that holds the panel. So now I'm going to lift up the door, and uh, I'm going to pull off the control panel. Okay, now we're going to disconnect the uh, uh, this plug, uh, there's a, as you can see, a little uh, tab here. I'm going to put and remove the plug. Then we move to this side. All right, so I'm going to lift this tab, pull the plug out, and press down on this tab and free the uh, harness. So now I'm going to use the uh, flat blade screwdriver. We're going to Press on that uh, locking tab here at the bottom and disconnect the plug from the control board. Slide the harness out. I'm going to use the flat basket screwdriver to open those two tabs so we can remove that uh, plug. All right, now I'm going to place this control panel on the table. I'm going to use a small flat blade screwdriver, and I'm going to open the, this tab on this side, pull up on the door handle, and uh, release this tab. And now we can uh, rotate the door handle and uh, remove it completely. The next step would be removing this unit interface control board. I'm going to use the flat blade screwdriver, the same one, and we're going to very carefully press on the tabs and lift up on the control one at a time. And the last one. Now we can uh, remove it uh, from the control panel. And uh, now we can easily remove that start button by pressing it in and uh, pulling it out. This is the old start button next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. It's a time for the new button to go in. I'm going to put these two legs into these two, let's say, uh, cutouts, and then we can just drop it. Turn it around, see if it's uh, placed com properly. And we're going to lose a couple of things here. Nothing to worry about. We're going to install it back in. Maybe yes. So now the uh, user interface goes in. I'm going to put it, uh, this end goes first under the uh, slots here, just like that, and then we're going to press down on this side, and the four tabs locks. We're going to place the door handle back in, the two tabs goes into the two cutouts, and I'm going to put it down and press it, and the two tabs here locks. And now we're going to install it on the dishwasher. Now we're going to connect the uh, wire harness and all the plugs. I'm going to start with one uh, 
that goes to the user interface control board. Slide it in, relax, and I'm going to run the harness uh, through this retainer. And I'm going to run the harness, yellow harness, and uh, this retainer. Okay, then we go with the red one. And in this little channel, and now we're gonna lock this one in, slide it in, tabs will click, and it's locked. And now we're gonna plug this uh, in. Now we'll go to the opposite side of the control panel and I'm going to plug in this one. We've got six slots on the other door panel and we've got six tabs on the control panel here. So they're going to have to match. And open the door. And uh, Install the control panel. Okay, and now we're gonna secure it with the screws. And place one, tighten it with the uh, torque 20 screwdriver. And now we can close the door. Plug the dishwasher in and enjoy your clean dishes. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram.